Hey, I'm Josh Ackman in Park Industries Customer Service Department. And in this video, we are going to be running a TPC square on a Saberjet XP. Um, so to start out with, we have a remnant piece on our table. We do recommend you use a 36 by 36 inch piece. Uh, on our previous video, we already did the blade offset, so we're good there. And here is just going to be how to do the TPC square. So what we're looking for is where to start the nozzle on the um, on our slab. So we'll take a look at the screen. It shows you where that nozzle is going to start on which corner there, and then we can just do our have our layout here. It does cut about a roughly an eight inch by eight inch square out when you do this. So right about there, my nozzle's coming down. I do have enough room for my whole square here. So that's where I want to start. We'll come back over to the screen. On our screen here, we're going to be in our setup tab and then machine setup. And that dot right here is where that nozzle is going to start out at. First thing you want to do when you do run the TPC square is we want to zero these values out every single time. It makes it a lot simpler on the math for you. We're going to capture our nozzle point there to tell it that it's right there. And make sure our stone thickness is in there. You can bring the nozzle down in this screen if you need to. After that, we're just going to just hit run program and we're going to let this program run, making sure that I have my photo eyes enabled and my pendant is inactive. Yes to confirm. And we'll let that run now. Okay, so now that the program is done running here, you can see it takes about eight minutes for the program to run. Um, we're gonna grab our square and also start taking some measurements here. The first thing I wanna do, and just so you guys can visually see this stuff, I did uh, draw up and paint a program of the square here. Um, I just used paint on the computer on this machine so we could just stay on the machine and use this. Um, you can see the black lines here are the square it cut out with the saw. The red is the jet square. The purple line is the jet line there. And then I have green lines coming out and those are my overcut lines from my saw blade. When I go to grab my square, one of the green lines is what I want to measure first. Those what we're measuring there is the blade kerf and making sure our blade kerf is accurate. So let's go measure them, mute our photo light. So the first thing I'm going to do here is come on to one of my overcut lines here. Take my caliber, make sure it's zeroed out. And I'm going to just measure the curve for my blade. It looks like this blade of ours is 0.144. So we're gonna come back to our screen here. So we measured that, that green line down here. Oop. 
and we're going to put our blade kerf in right away. Go back to our setup tab and machine setup tab and our kerf is a little wider here so we're going to change that. 144. Now we want to measure our nozzle kerf right away and enter that. So that's going to, we're going to measure that jet line right here or if I come to my paint program, it's gonna be the purple line we're gonna measure. Screen back up, take a measurement here. This one is hard to get, but we wanna be as accurate as possible here. I'm taking a couple measurements just to make sure I'm not measuring where any stone chipped out or anything like that. And I'm measuring pretty consistently 0 0.10 or 0.8 or excuse me, 0 0.080. So we are a little smaller than what we had here. So now, um, if my nozzle kerf is getting over a hundred thousandths of an inch, we do want to take a look and replace our nozzle, possibly orifice there, if we're getting over a hundred thou. Um, so we're getting a little bit on the wider side of ours, but we still have a little more um, workable tolerance here with that nozzle. So now I'm going to just take my four side measurements here on there and I like to take a permanent marker and write my measurements down um, on my piece that I have. Point two zero zero two. Being keeping track that our caliber is zeroed out all the time, also. Okay, so now that we have all those measurements, and for this video's sake, just so to make sure we get everybody on the same page, I am gonna go to the paint program and just enter these numbers in here also. Okay, so now that we can just concentrate on the screen here, now that go back and forth between the piece for the video, what I'm going to start out with here is I'm going to look at here and I want to just start out on my X. So you can see on here my X axis is going um, left to right here. So I'm going to start with those two numbers. So I'm going to take this 2.013 and I'm gonna subtract the 
That gives me 11 thou, and then I want to divide that number by two. Which will give me 0 0.0055, and I'm gonna round that to six thousandths. So how you wanna think about that is, you can see this number on the right side is larger than the number on the left. So I need my jet square to move more towards the right side. So on my X, I want that jet square to move more towards the right side, which is X positive. And I need it to move six thou then after doing that math. Now I'm going to take my Y axis, the 2.016 minus 2.006. That gives me 10 thousandths of an inch and I will divide that by two, so it splits the difference. And that gives me five thousandths of an inch. Even, and, mind that again, we want it to move forward here because this side is larger. So we want this gray square, the jet square, to move down towards the jet line cut there which would be the y negative direction. So we will enter negative 0 0.005. So that's how you run the TPC square. If you want to double check, you can always run a second square with your parameter, leave your parameter numbers in there run a second square and make sure um, you can double check how your square came out. Park Industries tolerance on TPC squares are 10 thousandths of an inch. So if we are within 10 thou, we are within tolerance. So in this case, at zero, we would have been within tolerance, but we can get that better by entering those values. As always, give us a call if you do have any questions on that, on running TPC square or anything else. And uh, have a good day. Thank you.